A major rescue operation is underway this morning in Florida. Dozens of pilot whales are clinging to life after getting themselves stranded in shallow water. It's happening in a remote part of the Everglades National Park. And Anna Werner is in Goodland, Florida. Anna, good morning. Good morning, Nora, and good morning, Charlie. Rescuers came back ashore last night. They'll be out again this morning trying to help those whales. There were 51 in the original pod, including calves and juveniles. Ten have already died, and rescuers are not optimistic about the chances of the ones left clinging to life. The short-finned pilot whales were first spotted on Tuesday afternoon. Some had beached, while others were struggling offshore some 200 yards away. Six of the whales died before they could be nudged off the sand. Four more had to be euthanized. Some of the individuals um, are very close to death, and medically um, it's, it's the most humane thing to do, particularly if they can't be rescued. The surviving whales are trapped in water less than four feet deep. Teams have been trying to coax them back to the Gulf of Mexico, but that requires the exhausted mammals, which can be 20 feet long and weigh as much as three tons, swimming through several miles of shallow water and treacherous sandbanks. And because the area is so isolated, it's difficult for rescuers to bring in heavy equipment to help move the remaining whales. There's not a whole lot um, that can be done unless they can bring some um, you know, some other boats and, and figure out a way to get them back out into deep water. Short finned pilot whales are common in the warm, deep waters of the Gulf. The highly social marine mammals are usually found swimming in tightly knit pods of 20 to 50 animals. They're very, very reluctant to leave some of their members behind. And they will stay there um, even to, as a consequence, um, that they become sunburned, dehydrated, starve, and eventually die themselves. This particular species is notorious for mass strandings in Florida. In 2012, 22 pilot whales beached themselves at Fort Pierce. Another 21 were stranded at Kudjo Key in 2011. Most of the whales in those incidents did not survive. There are some 25 rescuers working to try to help the whale, uh, whales, people from federal and state agencies and marine conservation groups. They'll be back out today trying to do whatever they can here. Charlie, Nora, back to you.